So I agreed to work for a year. And I went to prison and worked uh, 16 years. Never filled out my paperwork, but I worked there for 16 years at, at the Wallace Unit. And two and a half years later, after I started to work there as my ministry, then they scheduled an execution and Texas became real active in, in doing executions. And we were uh, the first in the United States to do any lethal injection executions. And those days we were executing at midnight. They bring him in early in the morning. My responsibility was to be there when he walked in. I was to be the face that he saw outside of the guards. Now that's that was important because every inmate distrusts guards, and all but one out of those 95 talked to me. Of course, there were 50, 60 more that came in and got staged. But as far as going to the table, we I did that 95 times. I'll never forget Carlos. I had questions before I ever met Carlos about Carlos's guilt or innocence. The average convict will not stop a block away and hide underneath the truck. I mean, if they're going to run, you keep running and running and running. And we began to talk privately. And many of the convicts between 10.15 and midnight confessed to a lot of things for which they were not convicted. And I used to, I began in the beginning saying, oh, they're just, some of them are just bragging. But I began to check them out with friends of mine without telling them what they did. They were true. There's a lot of confession. And he said, I didn't do it. So that's as clear as bell to me. During the day before, before 12 o'clock, he didn't eat lunch. But before the day, he wanted to know if he could call me daddy, if I, if it would hurt my feelings. Because he had never had anybody stick by him who was in a fatherly position. And I felt like if he could call me daddy, that would be fine. It, it sort of shook me up real bad. Daddy is a little bit beyond just father. But he was willing to discuss anything after he got permission to call me daddy. And he said, will you be with me, daddy? I said, I'll be right with you. He said, will you hold my hand? And I told him before I got in there, I said, there are only certain times I can hold your hand. Only certain times. And this was the only inmate, all of them asked me to maintain contact, you know, or wipe their brow, or don't let, them, don't let anybody see sweat, things like that. But Carlos wanted me to hold his hand. I fully believe Carlos, Carlos De Luna was an innocent man, and I will always believe that. And there's nothing worse in the world, to me, than to execute an innocent person.